As I was leaving California going across the Richmond Bridge, there's white vans everywhere and military trucks on every freeway. I took this picture of them, but they were on the 101, the I-5, the 15. They're moving all over the place. And a lot of people are saying, oh, these are just drills. But in all my life, I've never seen the military so active. And in cities. I'm sure you've been seeing the videos and I've been posting them in the community. And this one right here in Philadelphia, there was tanks on the streets in the city. And this one right here was tanks in Idaho. And it looked like they were driving down the freeway. It's everywhere, fam. This is not a drill, family. So They're where are these little bad in. boys going? And this is Hollywood. Russia to deploy tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus in July and they were planning to do this on July 7 and 8 however we received confirmation that they already sent this so in, in the middle of June they already received the nukes that Russia sent them we are seeing that we are very close to this huge event which I believe will be a huge EMP event that will basically bring chaos to the whole world. We are very close to, to the rapture of the church because of patterns in the Bible. So we have been seeing here this timeline being confirmed many times because of the world events. We know that in late August, that's the world currency from BRICS, the digital world currency that they were going to release, uh, which will be the world coin uh, to replace the dollar all that it needs to happen is the rapture all that it needs to happen is the holy spirit leave this earth the light of this world which is the church leave this world in order for the dark one the dark the enemies the evil spirits to manifest and create the seven years government of the antichrist in this world we're approaching the highest watch date we're approaching the moment that we have been expecting because Everything is taking place as we speak right now, even the military in North America and South America, they are acting up weird in order to prepare for this event. We are seeing the movements of the end. We're seeing everything coming to place as we speak right now. We may not have another day here. We may not have a couple of, of days more. We may not have a week or so. But we know for sure something is happening around us and something will happen very shortly on Earth. Ukraine actually closed down their counteroffensive tonight, okay? They know something's getting ready to happen and they're getting their troops out of the way of it. That's why they pulled all their troops out. Everything is getting ready to happen to pull NATO into this. And I think it will even happen before the week's out the way it's going. I, I think the Holy Spirit's holding, holding this thing and holding it as much as we can but i really think that we're really looking at a countdown of getting us out of here there's definitely been an increase in the reporting of military activity around the country in fact russia has claimed to have seen an increase in our country because they're watching us missile defense systems have been put in firing positions in california I think it's true because I think that uh, I think that stuff is about to go down. I also know that you know the the air defense uh, the air defense twenty three going on there with NATO. <clears throat> um, it's over on the twenty third. Well, something could go down there before then because 
Let's face it. They're already in war. NATO and Russia, they're already in war. So they could call it a drill if they want. In this case, I don't believe it. I believe they're getting ready to fight, to attack. Whether it happens in two days or tomorrow or longer down the road, I don't know. But I do believe with everything in me that it's going to happen this summer. And I think it could it could be this week. I would be surprised if it wasn't because there's too much ready to go. People who just absolutely want to say that nothing's happening, everything's just a drill like, like, like it always has been. Well, at this point, you could say that no, you could prove that it's not. If Russia is saying we see massive military movement in dozens of states, uh, call it a lie if you want. You can say everything's a lie and just keep your head in the sand if you want. Today, China launched 41 satellites. Everybody's prepping for World War III. Everybody is. A lot of people will tell you all these military things that's happening around the world are exercises. I want to tell you, God has told me that is not the truth. It's going to happen at any time. So many people wrote me about the planes flying in the U.S. and the uh, military in the U.S. Actually saying that it's false. People commented about a mirror stating that this was false. War News 24-7 picked this up. And so did Russia. This article just came out about an hour ago. It says, and it starts with this. Something serious is happening in the U.S. Large military mobilization in dozens of states. Missile systems on firing positions on the West Coast. Still think it's fake? Videos coming in from the U.S. shows a major military mobilization underway in at least 30 states. There are even reports of missile defense systems being deployed at firing positions on the U.S. West Coast as we speak. Citizens have reported the deployment of military forces on the streets in several U.S. states such as Philadelphia, Texas, San Diego, California, uh, Pennsylvania, etc. I've gotten more. As a matter of fact, that I told you all that day, people were literally writing me, telling me that it's in their backyard. We've got reports here in Ohio. The question is, what are they preparing for in the U.S. and which directly concerns Canada as well? So, this has reached Russia. The military mobilization in the U.S. did not go unnoticed by the Russian media. They specifically mentioned a large-scale movement of military equipment is taking place in the United States. According to eyewitnesses in many cities, the army blocked the internet during the passage of heavy equipment convoys. Communication outages are recorded in 11 states. So when people write me and tell me that this is normal, it's just training, I really, and I've said this the other day, I said this before, I think people just don't want to realize that something big is about to happen. And it is. If War News 24-7 picked this story up, and they got a little bit more information about it than normal, I didn't know Russia had uh, found out about it. But here again, like I said, if War News picked this up, there's something to it. Definitely something to it. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.